so here's the thing. Don't look now, right? Jeff, don't look now. Do I say don't look? <laughs> but there's a, a lady in the front row who's really angry at me. For... <laughs> and I was like, she's here with her husband. I think it's her husband. It might just be a guy she's hired. But they... Uh... <laughs> Anyway, and I said, I said to him, you know, just before I said, I said, hey, uh, hey, is she angry at me? And she always like that. He went, no, no, she's angry. <laughs> what, what did I ever do? And then I looked at her and she went. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't think I've met this woman before. I, I don't remember. <gasps> Maybe that's it. She's angry because I don't remember we've met before. And I, no, no, I, I'm pretty sure I'm. <laughs> Jeff, do you recognize that broad? <laughs> Uh, maybe. <laughs> so, she's not angry at me, she's angry at you? Look, man, just keep it quiet, will you? <laughs> what the hell, man? What happened? Look, look we're gonna get through the show together, man. Just don't, don't make her, don't upset her. <laughs> what the hell, man? What happened? I was in Rio about ten years ago. Rio? <laughs> and yeah. I, I, I thought it was a dude, man. I had no idea. <laughs> No, I, I'm, I know, now wait. Look at it like a dude, I'm drunk, where are you? I know that the lights were out, I was drunk. <laughs> and I did things. But the only thing, look, I'm sorry to bring up a technical point, but don't the things that you like to do re require a certain piece of equipment that this person clearly doesn't possess? <laughs> like I said, I was really drunk, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, there you go. Well, it's Christmas. I'm sure she'll forgive us for anything. It doesn't look like it, though. Uh... <laughs> well, we'll get through it together, Jeff. Let's always remember one thing. What's that, Bill? Just one thing. You, you pick. I don't care. <laughs> always floss. <laughs> always floss, everybody. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Capital One Venture Card. What's in your wallet? Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I do, but I'm afraid you can't cheer me up. Sit down. I'm very, very upset. <laughs> well, I was standing there backstage a minute ago, and I heard uh, the warm-up comedian saying, I was just in Craig's dressing room, and I stole his dressing gown. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and then, and then what, what, you, you got, what, what's that, what the hell is that? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> I don't wear that. I wear something lacy. But I, what I hate is... What I hate is the idea that these people think I have a dressing room. I have a dressing room? I'm out in the corridor changing into the old Bob Barker suits. $28.95. It's a great day for America, everybody. There's, there's only two more shopping days till Christmas, so if you haven't crossed everyone off your list and you're, you haven't finished wrapping every present, it's officially time to panic. <laughs> only 48 hours left. There's only one way to get everything done. 
crystal meth. There's your white Christmas, CBS kids. Christmas, Christmas is going, it's all Christmassy all over the place. Uh, uh, Christmas movies are on the TV. See, every channel showing It's a Wonderful Life. Mary Clarence, don't you know me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my Jimmy Stewart's not so great, is it? Is it? <laughs> Sounds like a parrot having a stroke. <laughs> I taste pennies. <laughs> That's right, lesbians, laugh at the afflicted parrot. <laughs> Everyone thinks that Jimmy Stewart is the all-American man, but this is true, right? In the beginning of his career, the Hollywood m movie moguls, you know, the bigwigs, they forced uh, Jimmy Stewart to go to brothels to prove he wasn't gay. <laughs> That's... Uh, what do you mean? Uh, were you applauding that for you? <laughs> uh, there's a gap. Uh... <laughs> That's true. They, they, uh, they forced him to go to brothels to prove he wasn't gay. And I'm thinking, what? <laughs> Studio bosses paying for your hookers? <laughs> Don't you want to prove I'm not gay? <laughs> or I am? Whatever you want. <laughs> paying for your that truly is a wonderful life. <laughs> Time to let Jimmy see your rear window. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a picture from the Wonderful Life poster? Is that, look at that, it's the original poster right there. That's how couples greeted each other back in the 1940s. Look at that, look. Man would, he'd lift the woman up so she could kick him square in the nuts. <laughs> it's all about manners back then. It's a Wonderful Life, of course, about a guy called George Bailey. He's uh, thinking about suicide and then he gets a rare opportunity to see what life would be like if he had never been born. Which is interesting to think about sometimes. Sometimes I think what life would have been like if I had never been born. Do we have a clip of what life would be like if I had never been born? Doesn't look that bad, actually, does it? <laughs> For decades, people have loved It's a Wonderful Life. It's a great movie, but it seems to be out of date, you know. I mean, a mean old banker using unscrupulous methods to foreclose on working people's homes so he can line his pockets with their cash. I mean, <laughs> thankfully, that's in the past. We've come a long way since then. That could never happen today. <laughs> Greg, you're saying the opposite of what's true. That's right, Sherlock, it's a joke. <laughs> George Bailey, of course, in the movie, he's depressed because he wanted to travel the world, but he never got to go. He, oh, he had to stay at home in a great town in a beautiful mansion where he lives with beautiful Donna Reed. And he's got a wooden thing on his staircase that's always loose and it drives him crazy. <laughs> and that's what he's depressed about. All he needs to do is go, go at Home Depot, get something, fix the banister, you lazy bastard. <laughs> oh, no, it's easier to commit suicide, isn't it, George? <laughs> Take that, beloved American movie. <laughs> George is eventually saved, of course, by an angel who wants to earn his wings. Because an angel without wings is unnatural. It's like having a Kardashian without back hair. It's just unheard <laughs> I even got the stoic lady in the front row with that there. She'd been like that the whole time. Yeah, that's it. Like the whole time. Then you do an anti-Kardashian joke and you went like this. <laughs> You know, in a recent poll, in a recent poll, It's a Wonderful Life was voted the most inspirational Christmas film of all time. Now, the people who took that poll have clearly never seen Human Centipede. <laughs> wow, it's heartwarming and hilarious. It's, it's, it's not, that's a joke. Don't rent it and then watch it and then go, ah! Anyway, It's a Wonderful Life was originally filmed in black and white. And then a few years ago, they colorized it, but they didn't, they didn't get the skin tone right. So everyone looked like they had a spray tan. It looked like It's a Wonderful Jersey Shore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that one, don't you? Oh, 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 oh Snooky, Snooky. Oh, oh. Snooky, <laughs> Snooky, don't you know me? Uh, 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 Polly want a cracker. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> It was, oh. it was a callback. Oh, it's a callback to the parrot having a stroke. I, I, I'm going to a brothel. I saw Snooky. Oh, oh. <laughs> I go to a brothel. <laughs> yeah, she's not just hairy on her back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
<laughs> I, it just reached the crew backstage there. Did you hear that? Like, oh! They like back hair jokes. Who doesn't like a good back hair joke? I, I like a back hair joke myself, I gotta say. I, a back hair joke combined with a Kardashian, right there, you got a great joke. Well, that's our show, everybody. Uh, you know, you do the same as I do when you're doing uh, Jimmy Stewart, though. You turn, you go a little bit Clinton. You know, we go like, ah, 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 and then sort of, you know, you're like, ah, 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 ah. Like, ah, oh, and then, ah, you like that, don't you? Ah, 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 ah. You got a good cigar. Oh, yeah. Ah, Monica, prove I'm not gay. Hillary's got back hair. <laughs> uh, never make Hillary jokes in front of lesbian raw. <laughs> oh, oh, lesbians, oh man. Uh, lesbians, lesbians love pantsuits, Jeff. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Lesbians do love pantsuits. That's true. Every lesbian loves a good pantsuit. You know, it's just the thing. Lesbians like they're practical. You can get around doing it and get up to your lesbian business uh, with comfort and ease. <laughs> it's like standard attire for lesbians. <laughs> yeah, what you're saying is, Craig, don't, don't be so ridiculous. There's no such thing as standard attire for a sexual group, right? Is that what you're saying? No, well, there cer certainly is. I, uh, yeah. See, you're doing. Yeah, no. No, no. Very quickly, what are you doing? Are you doing Clinton or are you doing Jimmy Stewart? No, uh, you can't tell, can you? Uh, well, well, no, no. I, I, I can tell. I can tell. You can tell because the thumb, the little penis thumb, comes up. Right there. It's like, mm -hmm, see that? That's like a small penis, but I've got a big penis. And I. And I can do this with it too. <laughs> and uh <laughs> Well, it's Christmas. I get to do this, don't I? Yeah, the uh, the unhappy lady in the front row doesn't like the penis jokes, Jeff. <laughs> She's going like this. Oh, surly lady. And, uh, yeah. Surly lady doesn't like the penis jokes. Yeah. There she is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but that kind of disapproval turns me on, Jeff. Yeah, I got something in my pants right yeah. now. <laughs> I don't know what it is. When I see someone that angry at me, I'm like, you like that, don't you? Well, you want us to work extra harder with our comedy, don't you? Yeah, that's right. You want to see me sweat a little bit, don't you? <laughs> All right, Jeff, do the commercials. All right. Say, everybody, we'll be right back with more of the comedy stylings of Mr. Craig Ferguson and Mr. Jeffrey Peterson right after this. Christmas, the Christmas tree is getting fat and all around the people are wearing a hat. I don't know. What? You excited about Christmas? Have you got me anything yet? Uh, uh, no. What do you mean, uh-oh, no? I'm just being real secretive. Yeah, of course I got you something. I got you. I think you're going to like what I got you this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want, do you want a hint? Yeah. It's a fireman calendar. That's a pretty good hint. I think I just exploded. <laughs> kind of wish I hadn't told you. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's beginning to look a lot like, like tweet mail. <laughs> <laughs> Mold, 
let's see. All right, this is from uh, Jesse in Manhattan, Kansas. I don't know if you can tell Jesse's a swan right there. Like, uh, all right. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, I'm looking for a fun holiday prank to pull on my co-workers. Any suggestions? You sound like a jackass to me. <laughs> I hate pranks. You have any, any ideas for a prank? Yeah, we used to play a really fun one called uh, Put the Methamphetamine in the Eggnog. <laughs> so, well, well, that sounds good. What exactly do you do? Well, you put methamphetamine in the eggnog. <laughs> and, and then they drink it and they go, oh, they go crazy. It's great. Yeah, that sounds pretty funny. <laughs> However, for legal reasons, I uh, couldn't endorse that in any way. Oh, it smells like copper. From Mark in Toronto, Canada. You ever been to Canada? Got go another place in to 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 Toronto up there. You ever been to Toronto? Oh, yeah, why place. not? Sure, it's got sure, a giant, 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 got yeah, a big giant turn down, got the thing, and the Canadians up and down, and up and down, the hockey, and the brothels. Uh, Mark in Canada says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I keep asking my wife what she wants for Christmas, and she keeps saying nothing. But I know if Christmas morning comes and I give her nothing, I'll be in the doghouse. Any gift suggestions? What do you get for someone who doesn't want anything? Well, you put a little methamphetamine, methamphetamine. in Methamphetamine? You want to put a little methamphetamine in the, uh, in the eggnog now? Yeah, the old eggnog. Yeah, yeah. you just say, I, I didn't get you in, honey. Have some eggnog. Yeah. <laughs> and then she'll go crazy. I mean, she'll still be angry at you, but it'll be over quick. <laughs> TBS cares. <laughs> By the way, uh, just so as you know, this talk of putting methamphetamine in eggnogs is a joke. We are in no way suggesting you put methamphetamine in eggnogs. <laughs> yes, this is a comedy program designed yeah. to elicit laughs. Yeah. It's very difficult to tell sometimes, but it is, that's true. And, and so sometimes people watch the show and they think, hmm, what Christmas recipe would be a real winner? And then they think, oh! Oh, methamphetamine in the eggnog. No, no, do not, do not do that. You will ruin your methamphetamine. <laughs> this is from Tom in Walla Walla, Washington. Uh, he says, Dear Craig and Jeff, my friend recently informed me that she has never seen a James Bond film. Clearly she is insane, right? Which James Bond film should I make her watch first? Ooh, uh, what's that one with the uh, rabbit in it? Um, bright, uh, 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 what was the name? The one, Bright Eyed Watership Down. <laughs> <laughs> James Bond's not in that movie, is he? No, it's a, it's a great James Bond film. That's a great film, Dead Rabbits. Love. Yeah, Dead Rabbit. <laughs> bright Eyed. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Hey, uh, I don't want to say anything, dude, but you remember when we were talking uh, about the grumpy lady and her husband? Yeah. Look at their seats now. <laughs> Maybe he went to put some methamphetamines in her egg. I think if he put more methamphetamine in her eggnog, uh, she might not be so grumpy, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Paul in El Paso, Texas. You ever been down to El Paso? Yeah, 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 do it again.
I don't know how that happened. <laughs> yeah, that's how most good things are. You know what? You know what I think it is? Oh, by the way, you want to see my socks? They're awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I think it is? I couldn't, I couldn't uh, play the mouth organ when I first started playing around with a mouth organ on this show, but we've done that same joke so long that now I'm actually beginning to learn how to play the mouth organ. It's really rather impressive. Thanks, and so is the mouth organ. I can't believe that grumpy lady left, man. I mean, <laughs> tickets are free. <laughs> she, she walked out of a free show at Christmas. I mean, how angry do you have to be to do that? That's real anger. That's real hate, man. That's really hate. You, 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 it begs the question, why come? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that every yeah. day. <laughs> Here's the thing, like, you remember the, uh, remember the grumpy lady and her husband, like, remember they walked out? Yeah, yeah. Well, look over at their seats now. <laughs> the hell? They're back. <laughs> They're back. Did she just go to the bathroom or what? <laughs> I don't know, I, I think they may have been up to something. Yeah, she seems a lot but happier. She's a lot happier, yeah. All right, just, just let it go, man. I'll go on with the show, but I'm just saying. All right, just go, go on, man. I'll be right here. Just... What, 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 are you, what are you doing? Nothing, man. <laughs> My next guest is an Emmy-winning actress. She's star of The Closer, which airs Monday nights on TNT. Please welcome the fantastic Kira Sedgwick, everybody. Kira Sedgwick. Sensational. Can I tell you, you, you just you. look great. You're, you're wow, you're fantastic. <laughs> How's things working with that bacon fella? You still with him? <laughs> yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's all. He's right. a keeper. He, how long? 23 years. Yeah, you know, in Hollywood terms, that's like life. <laughs> <laughs> that's a long time. It's a long time. You must have married time. when you were like five. I did, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And I was 21. Wow. I was 21. 21. Yeah. Married Kevin Bacon. Yeah. He's been here a lot, Kevin. You know? I know. He won your your uh, magic harp, No, right? go, you... gold, golden mouth gold... organ. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Gold... No. Meth, can... yeah, meth no, you're... organ? Mouth organ, yeah. Oh, mouth. I thought you said meth. <laughs> I don't know. That meth riff. Where's Magna up there? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't take meth, do you? You've got lovely teeth. <laughs> No. How are things going at the closer? What is that, season 12? Good, yeah, no. Season 7. Oh, it's a long time, though. Yes, that, that's we, like, in we... Hollywood terms, that's like you've been married to Kevin Bacon for 23 years. That's right. That's right. Well, Speaks actually, we just finished yesterday for good. Well, I finished for good, so. What do you mean? Yep, yep. You're the, leaving? Yes. Well, who's yes. going to be the closer, then? They're, 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 um, uh, nobody. Uh, so they're going to have a show called The Closer, and The Closer won't be there? Right. No. They're going to have a spin-off. It's uh -huh. called Major Crimes. Major Crimes? Yes. And that's a, that's a, a major called... <laughs> uh, so, Major Crimes... Well, Major Crimes are solved by people who were on The Closer, but you're not there. Right, exactly. Right, I guess. Well, that, that, that'll, that'll fail. No. <laughs> no, it won't. Yeah, well, come no. on. Well. Like, uh, you want to watch The Closer without Kira Sedgwick? Ooh la la! No. <laughs> come on. Don't say that! I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be supportive, but come on, I tell the truth. <laughs> be be right. Wait, what's happening? You, you just quit then? That's it? Well, you know, it's just been a long time. It's been a long time. I've been doing I... this show seven years. Well, you um, yeah. <laughs> time and I did I wouldn't want to wake up in the morning and not want to go to work you know yeah that that'd be terrible yeah <laughs>
Yeah. So what now then? What are you going to do? I don't know. We'll see. Bit of theater. Go back to the theater. Theater, yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll yeah. see. Theme parks. You know, I'm open for anything. Did you ever work in a theme park as a, a theme park animal? <laughs> no, I did not. Well, now's your chance. <laughs> No, come on. So you'll be in New York then all the time? I'll be in New York, but That's I'll be in L.A. too. Mm -hmm. I'll be in L.A. too. Yeah. What do you mean? Well... You're saying it like you won't be in L.A. at no, all. No, I will be in L.A. I like L.A. I used to not. But now I, lo I really love it. You know, I've tried. I've been here for, what, 15 years? And I'm like, eh, no, nah, it's still a dump. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. there's great things. There's like the beach and the, the you know, and the, the other things. The beach. The beach is nice. You, Do you don't mean that. Kind of. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, kind of. I mean, it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of a dump here. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it out the window there at this great purple city. Well, what about Griffith Park? And what about Pink's Hot Dogs? Well, that, they're nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Pink's Hot Dogs? Do you have some kind of endorsement deal with no. Pink's Hot Dogs? <laughs> Well, Pink's are, you know, that, that's a good hot dog stand, but a good hot dog stand doesn't make it a great city, no, does no, it? No, no, I mean, no. I've never had a Pink's hot dog you've stand. Never, are you a vegetarian? No. Oh, okay. You said that like you used to be in your in rehab. No. <laughs> but, I mean, really, do you actually think there's meat in Pink's hot dogs? Why, yes, I do. Oh, yeah. the, fine, <laughs> the finest meat available. <laughs> the hell? These people are my friends. <laughs> And by friends, I mean they gave me a free hot dog when we were filming there. But that makes you a friend of mine. No, do, are you very are you very conscientious about what you eat then? Are you very, yes, oh, I am. Oh, right. No, I I'm careful about what I eat. But I I really like sweets. I'm I'm, a, I'm got a major sweet tooth. Right, that is a crystal meth thing. Yeah. <laughs> These teeth are all new. <laughs> oh no. The. <laughs> <laughs> You know that uh, you, that's the thing about people that take crystal meth. They kind of look like they're in the French Revolution a little bit uh, after a while. That's, ah, ah, that's true. No. That's true. They do. I never did that drug. Oh, good. Oh, oh, it's a good drug, or oh, good, I never did. <laughs> I'm glad. No, I'm I don't. Glad. Want. Did you just smell your finger there when you were talking to me? <laughs> you kind of went like that. <laughs> Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Let's talk about It's a Wonderful Life. That's like the greatest movie in the world. <laughs> all right. I don't know if it's the greatest movie in the world. It, it's all right. It you know, is. I think I've seen it too many times. Oh, I, I can never see it enough. Really? Oh, I'm, I'm like that with Wizard of Oz. Really? No, I've never seen The Wizard of Oz. No. <laughs> Not a little bit. So why why do you like it so much? The chance of a second shot? Absolutely. That and that your life touches others and that you you never know the impact that you have on people and and Well and that just... was before the internet. Now people <laughs> now people are very happy to tell you what kind of impact you've had on their life. <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> Are you on the Twitter? Are you on the Tweety? I'm on the Tweety. Yeah. I'm on the Tweety. You know, I had a, I had actually a situation recently where, you know, you, when you ever read articles about yourself, my husband is a Google Alert guy. Mm. Do you do that? That's like asking for trouble. I don't, what you mean you, it so means you get, that you, you put your, you say, if I, if anything ever comes up about me on the internet, I want to know. Oh, oh no, God, no. No. no, no. <laughs> Kevin does that? He's you, crazy. You, you could can't, be waking up. You drive in, yourself crazy. Absolutely. If you, did that. you could wake up in the morning being in the best mood and you read something awful. No, you mustn't do that. Right. You must, no, people you people are just. Uh, I mean, most people are nice, but most people aren't writing crap on the internet. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and even if it's a nice article, if there's comments, don't ever read them. No, They're never, never nice. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, according to some people in uh, right across the country, various sources, I suck. <laughs> No. I'm like, oh, yeah, thanks, genius. I didn't know that. Yeah. You don't suck at anything. Let me be the first to tell you. You know, that's true. <laughs> you are so funny and so amazing, and my mother is madly in love with you. What? I mean, I can't say that I'm madly in love with you because I've been married for 23 yeah, years. Yeah, you're married but, to Kevin Bacon. I get it. You but, got a better offer. I understand. But... Seriously, no, my mother, literally, I mean, when I call, she's giggling, and she's saying, you know, if it's 9.30, my time, and she's, oh, my boyfriend's on, and I can't talk, and... It's, no, it's a Wh what's, serious what's your mom's name? Love. Her name is Pat. Hey, Pat. <laughs> You're looking good, Pat. 
and do the top button. <laughs> okay, that works. She is going to be so happy. Yeah. You have no idea. If that's all it took, I would do that all the time to everybody. <laughs> you know, I might try it on the grumpy lady in the front row. You know, I think you won her over. I think I won her over too. I, think I embarrassed no her into a joyful uh, mood. There's no question she actually loves you now, I think. Here, I, I, I love your generous spirit, but I think that's taken it too far. <laughs> No, she just nodded when, when I said you love him well, now. Well, it's because you're Kira Sedgwick. Uh, That's no. why. I mean, she's like, what's she going to say? No, Kira Sedgwick. What's that coming to go? <laughs> hey, uh, we're out of time. You want to do the big cash prize uh, the, or not? Or not? You didn't even offer me the other two. All right, then. You want to do the big cash prize, the cold open or the mouth organ? The cold what? No, oh, I mean the... What do I mean? <laughs> Pause. Oh, the awkward pause. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I taste uh, pennies. <laughs> what, what, what? You taste what? No, no, never mind. It's, uh... <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, I would like to do the big cash prize. See, I, I, see, I, I want to give you the money. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's then. What it. time uh, is it, Shadow Steven? It's time for the big cash prize. All right, here's uh, two ways to win the big cash prize, Kira. Here are the two ways you can do it. Uh, one, you can answer a simple question. Mm -hmm. The other way is to guess what's in my box. Now, that's a little more complex. I imagine a box in my mind, and inside that box is an object, but I don't know what's in that box. Only Jeff knows. If you guess what's in the box, you win 50 American dollars. If you only answer the question, you only win $50. <laughs> I, 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 I... <laughs> Cute. Honestly, I, 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 I don't think I can guess what's in your box. I think you can. I'm, I'm frightened of what might be in your box. Should I just go for it? I would try. Oh. Mm. I think you've got the gift of the third eye. Do you? Can you give me a hint? No, because I don't know what's in the box. Oh, right. Can you give me a hint? Hey, Pat, want some eggnog? <laughs> I haven't even imagined the box yet. Oh. All right. Are you, are you going to guess what's in the box? Uh, sure. All right. I'm imagining the box. Inside the box is something. Okay, Jeff. Okay. All right. Now, what do you think? What do you think is in the box, Kira? Awkward pause? No, you threw in an awkward pause. <laughs> What, what is in the box? Eggnog. Is it eggnog, Jeff? Eggnog is correct. Correct! You won 50 American dollars. Give us everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My next guest is currently touring with the great Bob Seger. On December the 28th, he's at the Staples Center here in Los Angeles. He's singing a bunch of girls off his self-titled album. Please welcome Frankie Ballard, everybody. Frankie Ballard.
If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> That's my favorite one. You know when she, uh, the cat shoots a zombie and the zombie doesn't die and you're like, oh, oh. Oh, the cat's going to get eaten by the zombie. And then the cat farts a flame onto the zombie. <laughs> then the zombie dies. I mean, that's awesome. Where's, you're, our, you're, where's our Emmy? You're sick, man. Really? No, I no. love you. What, you have a problem with reanimated dead people on TV? <laughs> anyway, uh, here's, here's, the, uh, here's the thing. I think the grumpy lady uh, came around. She left. She thought better of it. Her and her husband talked things through. <laughs> she came back a little happier. Seems like it all worked out. And that's what we do here, Craig. We make dreams come true. We make... That's right, Jeff. We make dreams come true and we bring people together. Sexually. <laughs> and a little meth in the eggnog doesn't hurt either. Good night, everybody. Good night, guys.